Okay, so today I'm going to show you some of the puzzles that I own in my puzzle collection. First is this Mosai Watchtower. I don't know how to figure this one out, but it's still in the shape shifting. But this one is really smooth. The, the plastic doesn't feel that well. Really smooth puzzle. This which Eden 3x3x6 is really smooth. One of my smoothest puzzles I own. It does not shape shift, which is pretty sad, because these aren't proportional with these. Next is this um, Linhoi Black Magic. This magic is pretty smooth. It doesn't like lock up or anything, but this is my main magic. Next is this Ghost Hand Master Magic. Ghost Hand Master Magic. This is a really smooth magic, or master magic. I have no problems, it doesn't get stuck or anything. Next is a Linhoi Magic Red. For the, some reason, this Linhoi Magic Red is not as smooth as my Linhoi Magic Black. But it is pretty good, seems stable. But really pretty stiff. So next is this QJ. 3x3. Three three. This is a pretty small 3x3. Three three. It is really smooth, like so fast, but pieces do relatively pop if you're really speed solving. Next, this Shangsha 2x2 two two ball or soccer ball. It is really smooth. I didn't even solve this once because it seems too confusing and I think I don't think it's possible. Next is this Mozai 1x2x2. Two two. It is pretty stiff. It's, when you first get it, it's like really stiff. But the pieces are big. It's a pretty good puzzle. Only for four dollars. And this one is my uh, QJ uh, four x four. Smoothest four x four I have. Well, I just need a break in my Shen Xiao four x four. But really smooth four x four. Definitely recommend it. Okay. This is a wit 2 2x2. Two two. It's really smooth. Smoothest 2x2 two two ever. Okay. And this is my uh, white plastic Diane Zanchi. This is my main z main cube. My white plastic Zanchi. I have another Zanchi, but I'll show you that later. But really smooth cube. Definitely recommend it for speed cubing. And this is the YJ 6x6. Six six. Pretty smooth, really smooth actually, for a 6x6. Six six. And I like how these individual layers turn by itself. Next is this Shengxia 4x4. This Shengxia 4x4 is really smooth, but you have to really break this in and lubricate it. But right now, for me, it's kind of stiff. This is basically the Rubik's Slide electronic game. And this is the Type C 3. I already opened this, but it is a really smooth cube. Probably the smoothest out of the Dyan series. The Dyan series is still a little faster than this. This uh, QJ Pyraminx. This Pyraminx is pretty, really good actually. I, this is the only Pyraminx I own. I have one more QJ Pyraminx, but this is really smooth. This is a QJ 5x5. QJ 5x5 is really smooth. And I like how it, this individual layer can turn all by itself. Usually on some 5x5s you have to turn it like this and then bring this back down to turn that inside layer. This is a... Oh, this is the same thing as the Dian Zanchi, white. This is a Toronto cube. has like Toronto pictures on it. It's really, It's pretty stiff It's and it's really big. Look at this. This 3x3 is really small compared to this 3x3. And... This is a Linhoi Magic Black, I already showed you that. And this is a Canadian cube, it has Canadian pictures. 
It is pretty bad. It's not recommended for speed solving. This is a college edition cube. It has a college pictures like I'm not able to solve this. It's kind of confusing me since the center has to be switched over like this. But the cube is really stiff outside the box. I don't play with this box. This is a QJ Mega Mix and this turns really good. Probably a really smooth Mega Mix, probably. I recommend it. And this is a. Oh, another. Here is a Land Land 7x7, and this. I didn't really play with this much because I. I have to, I'm learning the magic right now, but I can't learn this, and it is pretty smooth. That's pretty, I don't, never, this is the only 7x7 seven seven I own. This, QJ, this is the QJ Tetramix, and this turns pretty stiff. Yeah, well, really stiff. Oh, this is, this is a ghost hand magic. See this magic? Oh, no, this is the same thing. This is the master magic. This is a plain Rubik's Cube. It is pretty bad. It's not fast. I can see the stickers on this is terrible, especially the green side. Another Rubik's Cube by three. Here is a land land two by two. 3x3x2, three by three by and this is a really smooth puzzle. I definitely recommend it. Well, this is the only 3x3x2 three by three by out there. This is a ghost hand. This is a ghost hand magic. Not a master magic, but this is really smooth, but I definitely like the Lin Hai better. This is scrambled, and I can't get it in its original position, but... It is really smooth, trust me. And this is another Rubik's 3x3. This is the Dollar Store 3x3. It is definitely pretty stiff. This is a Diane Linhoy. And let me check this one out. Yeah, this is the really stiff. This is a really smooth cube. Maybe could be my main speed cube soon. What else? Okay. Here is a Land Land 2x2. Two two. This used to be my main 2x2, two two, but then I switched to the Wit 2. But this is pretty smooth. I definitely recommend the Wit 2 over this. And this is a cube for you. 3x3x4. Three by three by it is pretty smooth, but on some sides it's not that smooth like this yellow side. And you can hear the spring in it. So, okay. Puzzle. Here is a, what is this, a Shinksha 2x2? Two two? This is probably the worst 2x2 two two I have, but it's not terrible, but it's pretty good, but I like my with 2 2x2 two two better. This is a uh, this is a QJ four x four. I'm gonna show you that. Oh, a Rubik's five x five. And this five x five, you can hear the clicking a lot in this. It's pretty stiff outside, and I really like how you, also in this five x five you can move these individual layers instead of yeah. This is the Diane Linyon. And this is a black plastic one. The Linyon turns really smooth. But I don't know. The Linyon and Lin Hoi are really similar. I don't know which one's smoother, but they seem really alike. Here is a Shengxiao 5x5. 
and this is the smoothest 5x5 I own, but it is pretty small compared to this QJ 5x5, as you can see it's really small, but really smooth too. Another QJ Pyraminx, and this is a keychain cube, it is pretty small and pretty stiff, can't really solve it or speed solve it. And oh yeah here is my worst three by three ever. It's a magic three by three. It is as you can see but it just looks pretty smooth but trust me it's not. You can just easily pull a piece out like that. This is a Diane Guhong version 2, or I don't know what version this is, I forget. But this one has no torpedoes as you can see. But it is a pretty good key for a while, but then I switched to the Zanchi after this. And here's the last one, a Diane Zanchi 3x3 black plastic. And I'll compare it with the white plastic one after. It is really, definitely, really smooth. But right now my uh, Diane Zanchi white plastic is smoother at the moment. It's because I had this longer and I broke it in and lubricated it. But this still Diane Zanchi turns really smooth right now. And... Yeah, these are all my puzzles. And I hope you enjoyed the puzzle collection update, and I'll see you next time.